Hello fabulous Aries, welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2020. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month for all of us out there. Strong energy is playing out now and I do think that when we look back at 2020, it is going to be June that stands out for important ways. Now one of those reasons is that it will be an extended eclipse season throughout most of this month. Normally we get two eclipses back to back two weeks apart and that two week period of time, well that's eclipse season, this time we get three back to back to back which means we will right around the 5th of June have our first lunar eclipse, start eclipse season and end it in July. So let's talk about that first eclipse. It is happening in fellow fire sign Sagittarius. Now this is a part of the sky for you that has to do with understanding your place in the world. Everything from long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters, all of that is covered here. Now whether it is the philosophies that guide your life, so this may be figurative, but it can also be very literal as well in some way your relationship to the larger world itself is going through some transformation now. Lunar eclipses tend to bring with them closures, karmic closures at that. It's where you know it is that you are done. You add to this the fact that it is this lunar eclipse that is part of a larger configuration that astrologers call a T-square. It is happening across the sky from Venus retrograde and both of these players, the lunar eclipse and Venus, both are connecting with Mars in a conversation of tension. So this larger configuration is one of that much more tension and motivation. The nature of Mars is to add urgency and a quick energy at that, a passionate energy at that. And so it does look like emotions may be running high for you at this time as you're coming to the realization of what place may be for you, but also what place may not be. For some, this can be a sense of where you thought you were supposed to be. Again, it could be perhaps you thought you were supposed to be going to school. Perhaps you thought you were supposed to be traveling abroad, which I know for many people now has been slowed down. But also, this can be more personal. The way in which you viewed the world, perhaps within a specific spiritual paradigm. Well, all of that is shifting for you. And with this sense of high energy, high emotion, will come new understanding. With that Venus retrograde, you are reflecting back on where it was that you used to feel ease and where it is that you no longer do. And all of this is part of ultimately aligning you with something better in the fullness of time. As we navigate forward on the 21st of June, we will welcome a solar eclipse. This solar eclipse will happen on the day of the summer solstice at the very beginning of a part of the sky for you that has to do with home and family of origin. Now it isn't just about this solar eclipse, just days before Mercury will go retrograde in the same part of the sky. So I see this energy working out a few different ways. One is that it may very well be connected to buying, selling, moving, new roommate. With Mercury retrograde, just keep in mind if you can help it, it isn't thought to be the best time to go in brand new directions. However, if it is that you are reconsidering an offer or renegotiating a contract related to a place that you already live in, well, that can be a good use of this energy. This may also be a time when you are that much more determined to visit home, to be with your family that much more. This can bring your uh, family of origin and in particular your parents where that applies into focus now. You're getting a chance to see them differently, to get another look, to see them more clearly, perhaps very suddenly at that, this brand new perspective on your past, on your family of origin. Now this ultimately can end up being that much more empowering as it gives you a chance to re-establish bonds and reconfigure your relationship to them. 
Now, I would also add this part of the sky is connected to how you interpret your past and bringing a deeper layer of forgiveness. Now with a solar eclipse, new information can come very quickly and that sense of understanding can come that much more deeply as well. This can be that fresh perspective that helps infuse your life with the forgiveness you need to put the past behind you and be more in the present today. But the energy is still going to remain especially intense, so do keep that in mind. Late in the month, Jupiter and Pluto will meet in the sky for their second of three exact connections over the course of this year. And what this tells me is that you are also considering matters that are higher, matters of legacy, matters of you considering your career, your life purpose, and where it is that meaningful self-honesty and transformation feeds into your understanding of ultimate direction. Well, that is where you start aligning yourself with outcomes and achievement that are that much more meaningful to you. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I told you it was a big astrological month. Right around the 28th is when Mars will enter your sign. And what makes this special is that this is the beginning of a nice long stay. Normally, Mars enters a sign for about seven weeks. This time, you get seven months. In fact, Mars is going to stay in your sign now well into the new year. And that is because of the Mars retrograde season. I'll talk about that as we go along. The Mars retrograde season doesn't start this month, it does start next month, but it is next month that Mars will enter shadow and then it will be in the fall that Mars will go retrograde. But for now, as Mars enters your sign, you may very well feel a burst of energy and feel especially heightened. Now this can be used in many different ways and in many different areas of life. But one thing that does happen with this is that it does make a person more willing to engage others, more willing to be out and about, to be gutsy in their approach. And that certainly includes for you as well. Most of the month, Venus is retrograde, even with Venus going direct. Well, all of that does suggest that communication and online connections, well, they are going to remain a focus. And yet, once Mars enters your sign, you have such a strong desire to connect and may very well exude a certain vibrancy that can't help but fuel actions that do make connections happen. So if it is that you're open to meeting someone new, I do think that Venus retrograde can continue to have it so that you are connecting with people, especially on a mind level in the online sphere. But once we get to Mars in your sign, you will be feeling that much more determined, that much more ready to engage others. And just make sure you're keeping the focus on yourself and operating from a place of being measured because sometimes uh, this can indicate uh, being a little risky as you go out there to connect. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, with Venus retrograde, all is not as clear as you may like, and that really is okay, it does happen. And yet, it is once we get to Mars in your sign that you come to an understanding as to what you really want and who you really are and whether or not this person fits into it. And so in some ways, it is going to be this very move of Mars into your sign that's going to allow you to consider whether or not this is someone that you feel is for you and for you to move forward with. But until then, do expect that energy there of Venus retrograde and mixed messages. For those of you who are in an established bond, it can be very hard sometimes with this energy to feel like there is a meeting of the minds, to feel like you are truly understood with that Venus retrograde. And yet, once Mars enters your sign, there's going to be a desire to feel more fully. You do want to be careful with that energy because sometimes it can make a person impatient with their partners. And that normally happens when there is changes in your own life that you're desiring that feel like they don't come together for you. And so 
it's important to just pay attention and stay connected to yourself as long as it is that you are taking action in support of the changes that you wish it is mars entering your sign that can indicate more passion and connection what i love about this month for you well there's a lot here but i'm going to say that lunar eclipse i know that it's not the easiest energy okay i'm going to say that up front the fact that it is involved in a t-square with your ruling planet makes it so that it isn't necessarily going to feel as easy and yet because it involves your ruling planet it makes it that much more an important time that much more a consequential time and that much more time when you are able to come to a more personal understanding as to what it is that is evolving now what it is that is changing you are more personally invested and it is a time like this where there may be some very powerful closures but all of it ultimately reorients you to the world and helps you to find that place where you are truly meant to be well thank you so much for watching you can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com sign up to be one of my superstars superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes and more all of this in the superstar space i look forward to meeting you there it'll be a great month enjoy